Hey guys, what's going on? So I am here at the epicenter of electric bike technologies. I'm here with Jason Kraft. Hey, put it there. What's happening? <laughs> so uh, here at Electric Bike Technologies, they actually have quite a few different brands that you may have heard of before. Uh, Jason, can you tell me a little bit about the history? Sure. We started in 2008 with the e-bike kit, and that's the electric bike conversion system. And uh, since then, we've added a couple of brands. So not only do we have e-bike kit, but we have the Liberty Trike, which is an alternative to a mobility scooter. Uh, we have electrotrike.com, so we do completely uh, assembled custom electric trikes direct to consumer. And uh, pretty soon we have electricbikestore.com, where we're going to be introducing a new line of 2020 lineup, we're calling it, of uh, electric bikes that are all mid-drive, in-frame battery, and all that stuff. So okay. cool. So that's it's quite a lot to take in. But once you come inside and see the facilities, you'll see that it's kind of segmented a little better, kind of, you know, understand it because it took a little bit for me to get the hang up. But yeah, they have different parts of it. Let's let's just go ahead and jump in. All right. <laughs> so these are our offices uh, right away. You see people ride their electric bikes in here. And this is a, a Franken bike, obviously converted with an e-bike kit. So inside of our offices, we have someone for operations. We have a uh, main office over here. We have an office with some cubicles here. Uh, we have service and sales. Um, I'll take you in the back. This is an 18,000 square foot facility. And uh, soon we have plans to increase that as well. Uh, we started off pretty small and uh, 300 square feet. And over the years, we've kind of doubled each time we move. And uh, we're planning to move for next year as well. So we're in the lunchroom with the cartoons on. And we'll come in here and this is the warehouse. And as you can see above, we have different signs up there to tell you what's going on. Wheel building is what this one says. And this is the e-bike kit. This is all hub motors that we use for the e-bike kit. And we actually use them for a lot of our um, electric trikes as well. Uh, wheel building here, you can see we have four or five stands there. We have a couple of lacing machines. That one from Holland Mechanics, uh, we're pretty proud of. And I think that we probably build more hub motor wheels than anybody in the country. You can see a lot of the wheels hanging for electric trike over here. This is electrictrike.com. So this is where all of the electric trikes get assembled. You can see we have some fat tads from J&B here. We have some other trikes. We have some traditionals. Um, and these trikes are built custom, uh, fitted for the customer. And they go direct from here. We'll see the shipping in the back. But they go direct from here to the customer. All available online at electrictrike.com. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, uh, this is one thing that I got to see firsthand is that the guys over here actually get the measurements for the trike that's going out to the customer, custom fit for the, leg, the length of their leg, for the height of the, of the person, and then it ships out fully assembled in a, in a big box Correct. <laughs> out to them. So that's a kind of, uh, a kind of uh, experience you can get from getting something here in America <laughs> out of Pennsylvania. Yeah, the guys put a lot of work into it and, and delivering a custom trike is no, no easy feat. So we do ask for X seam so that when the trike is delivered, the customer just cuts the box pulls it out and is ready to ride. I mean, they can go within 10 minutes of this being delivered to them. So it's a pretty unique uh, delivery. Great. Um, you know, before we do that, I want to turn around real quick. We're just getting into the middle to the middle of this and uh, really just starting on electricbikestore.com. And that is in this area, you can see a couple of the bikes that are just assembled and we'll be, we'll be uh, doing a big promotion in a couple of weeks and introducing this whole new 2020 lineup. Uh, from Electric Bike Technologies of two-wheeled e-bikes, latest technology, color displays, in-frame batteries, um, Dapu and Bafong mid-drive motors. So a lot more to come on that. So you're here at a really exciting time uh, as, we, uh, as we are in the summer of, of 2019 here. So we'll go to the back. This is also one of our new ones, just a real quick sneak peek, and I know you're gonna have a review of this, but this is a mid-drive tricycle with a limited slip rear, giant basket back here. You got the fat tire, four inch tires. You got the color uh, display. This is a Bafong uh, Ultra system on here. So this is a pretty wicked tricycle. Um, been around a long time in the electric bike business and I haven't seen too many like this. This is really um, our latest high-end tricycle and middle motor tricycle. So that's pretty cool. And there's gonna be a lot more to come on that. Over here, you can see all these guys working hard. Liberty Trike is one of our most popular brands. Um, Liberty Trike, again, is an alternative to a mobility scooter, and it's a folding tricycle, which actually completely separates. So it's super portable, very durable, up to a 400-pound payload on these, and they will pull a 300-pound rider up a wheelchair ramp, no problem. So true 750-watt front hub motor, front disc brake, 
foldable, collapsible, um, just like a mini mighty super tricycle <laughs> for mobility. So we're really proud of that. And as you can see, it comes in 10 different colors. And this is assembled all here, all in our Bucks County warehouse. This is 52 parts, 10 different colors, powder coated. We do all of this stuff here and put these trikes together and they ship direct to consumer, out of the box, 30 minutes by hand, no tools, pretty cool stuff. So very proud of that. We're gonna walk in the back. It's a little crazy today. We constantly have shipments coming. So we'll walk back here. Again, 18,000 square feet. So back here is about 3,000 square feet, and this is dedicated to housing stock, and then also shipping complete tricycles over here. So excuse the noise, it's always pretty busy. Back here, you can see some of this stuff in action. You can see one of our most popular trikes, the fat trike here. This is a front 750 watt Fong, but this is going out to some lucky customer. We'll block their information. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you can see behind me, we have Don, he's packing up uh, some of our trikes, and you can see there's five, here's number six, but these tricycles are fully assembled. So each one of these is going to a loving home somewhere here in the contiguous United States. It's on a custom pallet, custom giant box, and in there it's size for the customer. So we'll cut that side out, they'll pull it out, and again, they'll be riding 10 minutes after delivery, which is pretty cool. So this is the back, this is where we store everything. Here's an interesting note, Mike, just if you want to turn around, just look out this door. So this is our lot, this is where everything ships from. And right over there is our powder coater. So a strategic move here for where our warehouse is to be able to deliver the Liberty Trike in all of its 10 colors. And we have plans for um, a traditional 24 inch step through mid drive that's coming soon. And that will also be offered in the colors to take advantage of our powder coating ability. Great. So. We'll walk wow, back. That's, this is it's quite impressive to see everybody out here working. It's, it's common to see a lot of electric bike companies. It's very common to see them have a handful of employees that do a lot of shipping, but not really the assembly. You know, the assembly, the packing, the customization is definitely a unique thing here. And that's, that's pretty good, you know, keeping jobs here in America. Oh, absolutely. And we plan to hire a lot more people. I mean, we're, we're growing. The electric bike industry itself is growing. The market is growing. Um, and you're right. We don't just bring things in and slap <laughs> labels on them and reship them. You can't do that. You have to really do quality control. You have to assemble and then package if you want something to go out perfect, in, in my opinion. So, so putting things together here, doing more here, creating jobs here, it just feels awesome. So it's just awesome. And we're just so happy that we've experienced the growth that we've had. Um, so very excited about it. Let's Lots go ahead to come. And, yeah, e-bike kit. E-bike kit is over here. And yeah, the oldest brand e-bike kit. We have over 500 dealers now in the US. You know, conversion is still a thing. Uh, as you saw before, we hand built all of the wheels that go into the e-bike kit. So every single wheel is hand built here in our warehouse. Um, so over here, kind of a, a smaller area, but very complicated. The e-bike kit has been around for so many years. We have several different models. Right, we have all the way back to 2010, we have 2012 and 2015, and so down to our latest model. But these guys here are packing all this. We do all hazmat shipping. We do custom boxes. These boxes are made by a company locally over in Trenton, New Jersey, just across the bridge. Very proud of that. All of our packaging we've designed, and we do that here in Trenton, New Jersey. So you can see the, uh, the cross is our design also. You can see the hazmat stuff. So a lot of complicated shipping goes into this also in the electric bike business um, with the hazmat shipping. You have to be very careful on that kind of stuff. Can, can you tell me a little bit about that mechanism over there? I, I noticed this big, big packing mechanism bag? that looks like it dumps a bunch of material into the box. So yeah, that bag is the cause of all the dust in the warehouse and it's filled <laughs> with something called vermiculite which you can actually use in gardening, but it's used in hazardous material shipping and it's to soak up any kind of hazardous material spills. That's what it's for. So uh, you have to do it, it's the law. So we dump that into every battery box so it gets there safely and uh, legally and, and, and that's it. You know, that's the kind of thing that you just have to, uh, you have to do in the e-bike business. It's a way to do it. You gotta do it on the up and up, so. No, oh, great. Um, yeah, so. That is, uh, that is our warehouse. Over here you can see there's a bunch of batteries and stuff also. We have a lot of different batteries depending on the brand and the product. Um, uh, E-Bike Kit has a couple of different battery options. Liberty Trike has its own. Um, right in front of us, I know you're gonna see reviews of this too. We're just so excited about it. This is the folding bike that's coming out. This is part of the 2020 lineup with the colored screens and the, the Dapu mid-drive motor. This actually right now is my favorite 
bike in the warehouse. Um, when you get to ride one of these, it's just, it's just really awesome. We're super psyched about that. You know, we've been around a long time and we've been kind of mastering the things that, uh, you know, like the conversion systems. We're mastering the Liberty trike and we stayed within the three wheel space for a long time. But now as we get into 2020 with this new lineup, it's time to get into the two wheeled space. And we're super excited about what's about to happen with that. So I think it's gonna be really successful. We've got the people, we've got the experience and now we have the bikes with the latest technology and you know everything is just looking on the up and up for us and for the electric bike industry as we head in 2020. Great. Yeah. Well I'm I'm really excited that I got to come here and check them all out. And like Jason said, you're going to be seeing reviews on the site electricbikereview.com for all sorts of different trikes and two wheelers as well, including the Liberty trike. Uh, not so much e-bike kit. <laughs> Didn't get time for that one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you're going to see a lot of that stuff coming up. So thanks for watching, guys. It's been quite an eye-opening experience to come here and see all the many different facets of the operation. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot, Jason, for showing us around. You're welcome. And Mikey's been here for a week, and it's been a real pleasure. <laughs> we're grateful that Electric Bike Review came in. Uh, we miss you, Court, but uh, we're, <laughs> we're grateful for you coming in. It's been, a real, it's been a real fun week, man. And thank you for coming and showing everybody what we have going on. Great. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Right.